All right, so here's the um, frame that's going to support the motor. I'm just about to put the second layer of paint on and um, it wasn't actually in bad condition to be honest, there wasn't too much rust on it but this will protect it for a long time to come so I'm just using some Hammerite direct rust paint and uh, after that's done we're going to get this fitted into the car and uh, start looking at getting the motor getting the motor fitted onto it. Right so what I've done now um, is just jacked it up a little bit higher and using these tripods for support under the back. Now um, what we're about to do here is to undo these bolts which seem to loosen quite easily and we're going to drop the we're going to drop this frame straight off the axle and that prevents me having to take all of these apart um, and all the brake wiring except brake pipe etc so um, I'm just going to take this support off and then I'm going to put the new painted one back on depending and whether I can slip the new motor through that gap, which I think might be possible if, um, that's li if that bar is lifted out the way, this one here. <clears throat> now the plan is to get the other motor slid into there afterwards and see if we can get it coupled up to the gearbox. So um, I'm probably not going to video the process this time because it's a lot of setup trying to get the camera on a tripod and then doing all the editing to put music in and speed it up so um, I'm just kind of more interested in getting the job done today so I will update you once this part is off. Right, I finally got this um, other, other A-frame back in. Um, it was a nightmare trying to get that uh, that part in at the back where the um, where the bolt goes in at the pivot. Um, I spent a good while trying to get this all fitted, but now that's all in, um, all that I've got to do now is to pull some of this wiring out that's in there and um, see about getting this motor fitted into the car. So um, bear with me. I'm going to um, hopefully get that in today. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how the time goes. But the uh, the hard part's done. I think, <laughs> which was trying to get this frame switched over. Well, it turned out to be one of the hardest parts anyway. I managed to get the motor behind there. Now I had to drop, I had to drop it off the suspension because it was too small a gap to go in there. Um, I had to do the same with this side, but I've just put that one back up. And um, the motor seems to fit in there quite well. It's like there's a very, very, very small gap just at the back there. But I think it actually just about clears that air thing. So that means there should be very little modification needed to be done to fit this motor in here, which is really good news. So um, what I'm about to do now is to just get this jack back up and I'm gonna put the jack under the motor just to um, help me get it bolted up into there. And then I'll put the support in underneath and that's the motor fitted into the car. So <laughs> that hard part's done. All I've got to do after that is to get start working on the start working on the interior and just hooking up the motor to start with to the inverter and the batteries and um, see where I'm going to lay it all out and uh, all that stuff. But whew, the heavy part's done. So there we go, with a bit of fighting <laughs> with it, I've managed to get it in and fixed in here. I've still got a few more bolt holes to put in, the bolt bolts to put in, I'm missing the um, length that I need. But uh, no, it's looking okay. We've got, uh, we've essentially got, um, we've essentially got the motor fixed in place, the brackets down, the brackets down there. Um, so yeah, it seems to fit with a very, a very 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 tight margin at the back of here and that's not too much of an issue uh, especially once I lower it down because that's going to go up into the that should go up past that arch now um, that should just about make it and uh, it, hopefully I won't have any problems with it um, being right up against that 
uh, air vent. Now worst case I can probably cut that air vent out but once the weight's in it it should bring the motor up to a reasonable um, place behind there. But here we go, so it actually fits. It's um, very tight, it does fit. Um, so yeah, the next step is getting the rest of the equipment into the back of the car, uh, getting some wiring to bring this up into the car, and doing some testing, just to see, just to see if we can get everything running. Now it's now it's put in here. So uh, the hardest part's done, I think. I've just got to get a few more bolts, sort out some of the wiring, and we should be well on the way to putting the inverter in and doing a bit of work that way. So uh, yeah, so the hard this was a, this was a tricky job. Uh, this was the trickiest part of the job, uh, just because having to take all this, all of these um, bits off, replace it all. Um, it was just quite fiddly trying to get under the car. However, um, we've got we've gotten there in the end after a lot of cursing and frustration <laughs> uh, but yes now I'm I'm pleased with that and we're going to we're going to move on to the next part and that's putting the inverter and the batteries in and seeing seeing how it runs now it's attached to the car 